is what's going on guys we are out here in the harmony community by eastwood homes behind me we have the colfax floor plan um, so if you're looking for this floor plan uh, that is offered in other communities that are eastwood um, this might be a good video for you to get an idea on the space walking through so brian what are we working with on this one uh this is 3469 square feet we've got a five bedroom four full bath and an office downstairs uh, lots of awesome finishes in this house as well okay. so as you make your way into the front door to the left here is you've got your office with your french doors so that's a really good space if you're the work from home type of person or even if you're not just a good amount of space yeah. yeah and then you make your way here to the dining room which this is a cool floor plan because this opens up into like a little butler area over here so when you come around you can see it that's good get some cabinets there and of course your pantry will be over here okay when we get to that spot so a good walk-in pantry there is pretty nice i like it um but a big open kitchen this of course you have gas appliances in this uh in this neighborhood and Electrolux appliances too. So high-end stuff here. And uh, you've got your farmhouse sink on this big island as well. So that's really, really nice. You probably got enough room over here for probably four, maybe even five uh, stools. Um, so that's good. And then of course, again, our high-end appliances with the gourmet kitchen here, you've got your microwave and your oven combo, but. Gotcha. So this is, uh, all the finishes are gonna be different when whatever floor plan you're looking at in other communities, but just an idea to give you on the space and definitely some gorgeous finishes that Eastwood Homes can provide you going to the design center. But uh, really like the open floor plan of this, so. Yeah, look at that stone fireplace. That's gorgeous. That is really, really nice. Okay. And then there of course, go. off the kitchen, you've got uh, a little breakfast area over here. So that's pretty cool, leading you out to your your back patio. And a lot of these homes that they're doing, they're building with these fireplaces and a little stone bench. So we take a look at that as well. So a good amount of patio space right there too. Yeah. And I know they make this as an add-on option um, in some of their communities. I would definitely be doing that. Yeah, a lot of folks out here have done that um, already. And of course the whole lawn is uh, Bermuda sod. Yeah, you're gonna see that in all the new construction, right? Yeah, absolutely. Almost every builder is going with that now. Yeah. A lot of people used to do fescue, but uh, it's just too hard to maintain. Your water bill would be ridiculous. So all these builders are going with Bermuda um, just because it's uh, not going to die on you. So, yeah. okay. Yep. Let's check back out on the inside. So if we go over here, we've got a bedroom, a bedroom off here to the left. Um, before we get there though, check out that big mudroom because your garage door is right here uh, behind me. So behind. you've got a ton of of room for shoes and coats and all that stuff. Um, and then you've got a, a bedroom in here uh, with a full a full bath. So oh wow, I didn't even know. Yeah, that. that's that's a good feature. A lot of people are looking for that full bath um, type nice. of a mother-in-law suite, I guess is what people call that. And of course, you got a, your closet right here. So okay, yeah, gotcha. All right, guys, so let's head up to the second floor. Hopefully this is helpful for you so far. If it is, definitely hit that like button and be sure to subscribe because if you're looking at new construction or you're looking up, you most likely found this by searching up uh, this specific floor plan on YouTube. Um, Brian, I'm gonna check out right here, actually. Yeah, it's the coat closet, I believe. So we actually got a uh, half bath that serves the whole downstairs area, which is nice. So you can have really have that separated uh, full bathroom for that ensuite. Don't have to look at all the clutter in there and keep it nice and organized out here for the looks all the guests and all that good stuff so let's go upstairs but um like i mentioned if this is helpful for you definitely hit that like button i would strongly recommend it subscribe because if you're looking in the greater charlotte area we hit only new construction communities floor plans everything that would be helpful for you on this channel so be sure to do that my name is Bri <laughs> my name is not brian taylor my name is will <laughs> Simino, and i'm a new construction expert with dreamline realty <laughs> Uh, and that's Brian Taylor. He's the owner of Dreamline Realty and my father-in-law. So we got you guys covered here. Um, and Brian, I'm gonna go back this way. So what do you got over here? Yeah, what you just showed, of course, was the was the, the loft. So that's pretty nice. But over here, we've got two opposite uh, bedrooms. So, okay. And uh, nice walk-in closets. Look at look at that when you, when you turn around. Well, that's a good big walk-in closet right there. Good amount of space. Yeah. And I like, well, I'll walk back over to it after this closet right here but i like some of the floor plans that i've seen they have these uh these deck areas only accessible 
seen it in some Taylor Morrison communities where the deck is only accessible through um, an actual bedroom. So it's nice that it's easily accessible from this whole hallway. If anybody's just in the loft area, they can go to utilize that if they want, rather than having to go walk through a whole bedroom. Yeah, um, it's, it's get, huge Making too. it a lot more nice and private. Really nice. Imagine sitting out here after work, enjoying yourself. For sure. Pretty good feature here. Good amount of space to get away, different yep. little pockets. Everybody wants their own private time. <laughs> Absolutely. But uh, yeah, definitely go in the link below or in the description below, better yet. Um, we have all the information that you might need if you're looking for new construction in the area um, for Greater Charlotte area. So hopefully that's helpful for you. Or if you are looking in this area relatively soon or a little bit farther out, you can schedule a Zoom call with us if you have any questions on you know, any of the floor plans that are offered in these communities or what communities are gonna best suit you. Um, we're always happy to help out um, and uh, always here to help. So be sure to do that and we'll help you out as best as we can. So what so you got here, Brian? This is the owner suite and I love what they've done up here with the LVP flooring up here. That's really, really nice. Uh, but this uh, makes your way right into the, the main bathroom here. Got two walk-in closets, his and hers, nice. on that one. Oh, this is beautiful, nice what they've done in here. So uh, in the bathroom, you've got your, your dual vanity sinks with your little, uh, I don't know what you call that, little <laughs> mini closet or whatever for <laughs> storage and all that good yeah. stuff. Um, kind of breaks it up a little bit and, so you don't have all the clutter mixed up. Yeah, exactly. And there's even soft closed drawers up here too. So that's nice, but look at, look at that shower. It's, it's nice and huge. Yeah. Good tile. They did a good job on that. And then, of course, you have a, a linen closet here, your toilet over there right to the left. Okay. Yeah. Check out this other closet right here. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right, then as we make our way out of here, you take a left. On the right-hand side, you have your laundry room. Big, big laundry room with cabinets and everything in there. Okay. And then this bedroom here actually is an ensuite. It's got a bathroom in here. So again, a lot of people looking for that type of a setup, so. Nice, I like it. Yeah. Okay, well hopefully this is helpful for you guys. If it was, definitely hit that like button um, and uh, be sure to subscribe so you can see us on the next one. But hopefully this is helpful and we'll see you on the next see one. See you next time.